Okay, are you ready to do some hypnosis with me? Now, notice, I've asked if he's ready to do some hypnosis. Jerry Kine says, when the person says yes, psychologically they're entering what Jerry calls the hypnotic contract. In their mind, they've in effect given you a promise. Why am I shaking hands with him? Two reasons. One reason is very few people in our culture will refuse to shake hands. When you shake hands, you're giving a partial permission to touch. I may have already asked for that in the pre-talk or whatever, but this is reinforcing it. In addition to that, he's giving me a firm hand grip. That means he probably doesn't have any fears. His hand is of normal body warmth, normal dryness. He's probably going to be a good subject. If his hand was extremely wet, extremely dry, extremely hot, or extremely cold, I would know he had some fear. My father discusses which fear goes with which in his book, and he told me when I was 12 years old to memorize it. It's the one thing he told me to memorize that I've never gotten straight. So I'll send you to the book. I just go with, if it's extreme, I've had a warning that I've got to be more conscious of this client. So having shaken his hand, I then say, now, when I tell you to, take a long, deep breath and close your eyes. Take a long, deep breath. Close your eyes. And put all of your attention on your eye muscles. The muscles around your eyes are getting very, very relaxed. And as they get relaxed, you will find that you are very comfortable. Your whole body just feels better. Relax them a bit more, and then when I tell you, tell you, you will try to open them, and they will not open, because you know they're too relaxed. They don't want to move. Now try. Try to open them. And you can't. You may quit trying. Let's have you test your eye muscles again. Think of how, how absolutely relaxed they are. Try to open them. Try. Try to open them and you can't. Try to open them and you can't. You may quit trying. Take long, deep breaths. We've just finished with step one. Step two. Ah, your eyes have popped open. You may open them now. You may open your eyes. You were trying to see whether or not you had control. Just like we said earlier in the day, you always have control. Now let's start over, and this time, think to yourself, since you're always in control, this time your eyes are going to stay shut because you know they will stay shut. Long, deep breath. Mind on your eye muscles, and they're very, very relaxed. Very relaxed. Now try and open them, and they will not move. They will not go. And you relax more and more. More and more, and your eyes will stay, will stay closed. You don't want to open them, and they will stay closed. Now, step two, take a long, deep breath. And as you let it out, let that feeling of relaxation go from the top of your head right down to the tip of your toes. And as you do so, you'll find that any noise in this room will just help you to go deeper, much deeper. Now, this particular gentleman, the way his eyes are constructed, they come part way open even when he's got them shut. But he'll find that today they will just close much more. And they will remain closed, except when I tell him otherwise. And now we will go to fractionation. In fractionation, 
my hand is to prevent him from being distracted by anything. Like there's a bunch of dancing girls in the back, but he won't see them because my hand's in the way. Now when I tell you to, you will open your eyes and then you will close them again. And when you close them, you will go ten times deeper. Now one, two, three, open your eyes. Open your eyes and close them. And go ten times deeper. Long deep breaths, let yourself go. As you go deeper, the deeper you go, the better you feel, the better you feel, the deeper you go. That's right, you're doing fine. Now again, when I tell you to, you'll open and then close your eyes. One, two, three, open and close. And you go twice as deep, twice as deep. And one more time, when I tell you to, open and close. One, two, three, open and close. And you'll go deeper still. You'll go as deep as feels comfortable, and that will be very deep, nice and deep. <laughs> now, in a moment, I am going to pick up your arm by the right wrist, and you will find it is as limp as a dish rag. Totally limp. Don't help me, just let me do all the work. Your arm is totally limp. Totally limp. And now you've achieved very good physical relaxation. But there's another type of relaxation that also feels good, even feels better, and that you will enjoy very much, and that's mental relaxation. In a moment, I'm going to show you mental relaxation. Now, when I tell you to, you are going to start counting backwards aloud from 100. And you're going to find an odd thing. With each count you say, the numbers will fade. They will go away. They will go out of your memory. You will be unable to find them. It's as if they were erased. Now, by the time you reach 97 or maybe even before, they'll be gone. You won't be able to find them. They'll have disappeared. Now, when I say to, take a long, deep breath, and each count should be on an exhale. Ready? Start counting. 100. And they're fading. You're going deeper. Are they all gone? I will now talk to the audience. So now I'm going to count back from five to one, and with each count you are going to go much deeper. If you understand that, nod your head. Okay, five. Going deeper. Four. Much deeper. Three. So comfortable. Two. Very relaxed. One. You are now in somnambulism. It's a very wonderful feeling. And as I said with the young lady earlier, I never waste a good induction. Is there something I can do for you today? You may speak. Courage. 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 Well, I'm going to point something out to you. When nobody else in the class volunteered, you did. You have courage. You just don't recognize it. So when you hit something that makes you a bit frightened, or you think you're going to be frightened, you're going to take these two fingers, you're going to rub them together, 
and you're going to whisper in your own mind, courage. You know what's going to happen when you do that? You're going to have all the courage you need. Now try it. Rub those two fingers and say it in your mind. And you've got all the courage you need. Just like you had courage to come up here when everybody else in the class sat still. You've got plenty of it. Now I would normally bring you up with a count of one to three. But I am so confident of how good you feel and how well you've taken instructions that you're going to tell yourself how good you feel. You're going to count up from one to three, and on three your eyes will pop open and you'll feel better than you've felt all day. Go ahead. How do you feel? Great? 